Okay, in the steps that follow, we're going to take a look at what's entailed in migrating our post processors, our tool libraries, and some additional files from a previous version of Mastercam into X9. Now, we're going to be moving files from X8. However, the steps are very similar for previous versions of Mastercam. So the first thing we'll do is take a look at some of the files we're going to be moving over. So under my mill, I can see I have a Fidal and an Akuma. And under my lathe, I have an Emco. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that we're moving files from our shared directories. If you keep your post-processor files on a server, the instructions will be different, and a separate video is made for that. So the first thing I want to do here is actually pick this and draw your attention to two other things. This Fidel specifically has a tool library that's already been associated to these sets of files and also a set of default operations. Now this may not be an option that everybody uses, but if you do, you'll notice that when we move over, these associations will also go with it because we're staying in the Mastercam shared directories. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to copy my shared directory just to make sure I don't affect any files that I'm currently using. So a shortcut to get to it is File and then Open Shared Folder. Once it's open, I can minimize Mastercam. And then what I want to do is I'm going to copy this whole structure here into my Update folder I have set up on my desktop. So I'll back up once and then I'm just going to drag this entire folder into the Update location. So we're done with that. Let's go ahead and start the process of moving the files over. So we'll open up X9, and we'll go under the File menu. Now in previous versions, prior to X8, you may have seen an option for Update Folder. That has since been eliminated, and now everything's consolidated into the Migration Wizard. We're going to choose the Advanced option, which gives us more control over where the files go and what folders are coming from. So we're going to pick this shared MCAM folder, and instead of pulling it from the default directory, we're going to move it over to the one we copied on our desktop. So I'll go to my Update folder and pick the shared MCAM X8 main directory. You'll notice down here from my destination folder, it's already set to the shared MCAM X9 location, so I don't need to do anything else there. I also just want to make sure that include subfolders is checked since a lot of the files are located in a structure. I can hit next and now we have options to select certain file types that we want to move over. Now if there are certain files you know you do not need to update, it can be beneficial to uncheck those just to save a little bit of time in the process. So I'm going to uncheck some of these files down here towards the bottom that I know specifically I'm not going to update. Okay, so I have the files selected that I want to update. I can hit Next. This page isn't necessarily relevant because I'm only updating files from one folder to another, and everything in there is already an X8 file. So I don't really need to worry about unchecking any of these. So I can hit Next. The last page just verifies the locations that we're moving from and to. So you may want to give this a double check before you hit Finish. And then once you're convinced that it's correct, we can hit Finish, and the process will begin. Now you may see a few things flash over here on the side. This is perfectly normal, uh, depending on the types of files that we're updating. Once the process is complete, we have an option to see a log of the events, or we can just hit No if we're not concerned about it. Okay, now that I've migrated my files over, I can go ahead and populate my machine type list for Mastercam X9. As I can see, there's nothing selected currently, so we're going to choose Manage List. And then we're going to find the machines that we program for. There's our Fidel, and down here at the bottom is our Akuma for the mill. And then we can do the same thing for our lathe list. There's our MCO, we can add it. And we're all set, our files have been updated. If we take a look at our Fidel, we can see that our tool library has been updated. It's already in the shared MCAM X9 folder. 
and our operation default has also been moved over and is already a properly associated. So that's a good reminder that if you're working in the shared folders, then file association does not become an issue, whereas if you're doing the same steps from a server location, there are a couple additional steps to make sure the process is complete. 